सो दिस इज द ट्वेंटी सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वी कैन सी सिंपली हमको क्या पूछा था कि वील हैव टू फाइंड आउट द रेशियो ऑफ स्लीट विथ टू द वेव लेंथ ऑफ अ सिंगल स्लीट टू हैव द फर्स्ट डिफ्रैक्शन मिनिमम एट अ एंगल ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री ओके तो फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री इज नॉट अ स्मॉल एंगल इट इज अ वेरी लार्ज एंगल एक्चुअली एंड दैट्स वाई वी हैव टू यूज दिस कंडीशन डी साइन थीटा मस्ट बी इक्वल टू लैमडा विच गिवस साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू lambda upon d which means lambda upon d must be equal to sin 45 and sin 45 is we know that it is 1 by root 2 so here lambda by d comes out to be 1 by root 2 which means that d by lambda becomes actually root 2 simply and root 2 is nothing but 1.414 so the answer should be 1.414 here but they have used the wrong method that uh, lambda upon d as usual when we take it as a uh, theta and why we take it as theta because sin theta is uh, theta is very, going to be very very small jab theta bahut chhota hota hai tab kya hota hai uska sin aur wo theta itself ye dono same hi hote hai sin theta is approximately equal to theta in this case and that's why we just replace this uh, sin theta by simply theta and get this relationship here and we can just uh, use it here in this way but this is only valid for when theta is very small Which is not the case here. यहाँ पे 45 degree angle जो है वो बहुत बड़ा है. तो इस case में यहाँ पे हमको ये वाला formula नहीं use करना है. ठीक है, this is wrong. और यहाँ से ऐसे करने से actually answer 1.27 आ रहा है, जो कि वहाँ पे उन्होंने दे रखा है. Which is wrong actually. The answer should be 1.414 as a correct one. Okay. Let us see the next question. That is the question number 23 here. Yes, monochromatic electromagnetic. Radiations. Okay, monochromatic electromagnetic radiations from a distant source passes through a slit. Okay, the diffraction pattern observed at the screen, which is two point five meter from the slit, if the width of center maxima is six millimeter. Is the slit width if the wavelength of the light is 500 nanometer, and if it is 50 micrometer, or if it is 0.5 nanometer? Okay, what is the slit width? So, we have to take the width of the slit. Okay, so the width of the slit is going to be found out here in this case. So, let us try it here. Once again, we have to draw the same diagram. this is the here it is the screen okay and suppose this is the slit here the slit ka width humko pata nahi hai but uh, the diffraction pattern is going to get formed at the on the screen here So, यहाँ पे डिफ्रैक्शन पैटर्न जो है वो इस तरह से फॉर्म होगा दिस इज द सेंट्रल मैक्सिमा, फर्स्ट मिनिमा देन सेकेंड मिनिमा एंड सो ऑन लाइक दिस ओके ये डिफ्रैक्शन पैटर्न हो गया ठीक है अभी इसके अंदर हमको पता दिया हुआ है कि जो डिफ्रैक्शन पैटर्न ऑब्जर्व ऑन द स्क्रीन मतलब विच इज टू पॉइंट फाइव मीटर अवे फ्रॉम द स्लिट वॉट इज इट मीन वॉट इज दिस टू पॉइंट फाइव गिवन हियर इट इज गोइंग टू बी द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन स्लिट एंड स्क्रीन हियर रिमेम्बर तो ये जो स्लिट और स्क्रीन के बीच में का जो डिस्टेंस है ये वाला डिस्टेंस एक्चुअली वो यहाँ पे दे रखा है टू पॉइंट फाइव मीटर ओके सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी टू पॉइंट फाइव मीटर यस एंड एंड दिस वॉट इज दिस सिक्स मिलीमीटर हियर इट इज द विथ ऑफ सेंट्रल मैक्सिमा अभी देखो विर्थ ऑफ सेंटर मैक्सिमा मतलब क्या द विर्थ ऑफ सेंटर मैक्सिमा मीन्स द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दिस फर्स्ट मिनिमा ऑन आइदर साइड एंड फर्स्ट मिनिमा ऑन दिस अपोजिट साइड हियर इन दिस वे इन दोनों के बीच में का जो डिस्टेंस है इसको हम बोलते हैं विर्थ ऑफ सेंट्रल मैक्सिमा एक्चुअली एंड दिस डिस्टेंस एक्चुअली हैपन्स टू बी टू डब्ल्यू एज वी हैव सीन इट इन द थियोरी बिकॉज वी नो दैट दिस डिस्टेंस इज गोइंग टू बी डब्ल्यू and this distance is also going to be w 
and this total distance happens to be 2w which is given to be 6 millimeter here in this case so ye 2w ka value agar 6 millimeter diya hua hai let me say if this <coughs> from the given information we get that this 2w is going to be 6 millimeter what does it mean is w should be equal to 6 upon 2 matlab simply 3 millimeter correct hai to ye w humko mil gaya but what is the formula for a w so w is always equal to lambda into capital d upon small d correct hai ye formula hai w ke liye agar humne ye use kiya yahan pe to isse humko d mil sakta hai jo ki humko nikal ke dikhana hai ye dekho what is the slit width if the wavelength is so slit width ke liye kya formula aapko milega if we just rearrange this then we can just get the formula for slit width that is small d here to be simply equal to lambda into capital D upon W, correct? Hai? So this is the formula which is here. So in the first case, A case we can say, uh, in the first case here, the wavelength of light is given to be 500 nanometer. That means lambda is given to be 500 nanometer. That means, abhi nano ka matlab hota 10 raise to minus 9. So we can just write it as lambda is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 7 meter correct eh? so this is the wavelength of light used so if you just put it here in this formula then we can just be able to get this d simply equal to lambda which 5 into 10 raised to minus 7 here multiplied with d capital d is already given to be 2.5 meter here which can be replaced here and divided by w which is already we operate it as three millimeter in this case so but again convert it into meter so it will be three into ten raised to minus three meter okay and then we can be able to get this as five into 2.5 means it is going to be 7.5 actually so this is 7.5 upon three no sorry 2.5 into 5 comes out to be 1.25 or 12.5 actually. So here it is 12.5 um, 3. Okay. That is multiplied with the power of 10, which happens to be 10 raised to minus 4 here, right? Which gives value of D to be simply equal to 3 1s are 3 4s are. So it's going to be 4. Point 3 ones are 4.1 and 2 carry so 20 over 667 matlab 4.167 and that is to be multiplied with 10 raised to minus 4 here so this is 10 raised to minus 4 and that is going to be in meter but as we already know that this uh, 10 raised to minus 4 meter can be converted into millimeter so 10 raised to minus 4 can be written as 10 raised to minus 1 and 10 raised to minus 3 and 10 raised to minus 3 meter becomes millimeter and because of this 10 raised to minus 1 this point will just get shifted in this one digit at the left side and hence we can just be able to get, obtain this as 0 0.417 millimeter okay which is going to be the answer of the first question already obtained here okay the second question can be solved using the in the same way by taking the wavelength of light lambda to be here which is given here 50 micrometer okay so 50 micrometer means what it should be 50 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter which happens to be actually 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 okay if we use this value of lambda here then we can be able to get this d to be simply equal to again the same formula we have to use it here lambda capital d upon w so lambda is going to be 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 into uh, capital d is kept as it is that is 2.5 okay and that is to be divided by the same thing that is w which is 3 into 10 raised to minus 3 here so if we just try to solve this further 5 into 2.5 again becomes 12.5 and this 
into 10 raised to minus 5 plus 3 becomes minus 2 here. And that is to be divided by 3 kept as it is. So finally, we are going to be this D here as 4.167 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter, which can be written as, okay, if we want to convert it into millimeter, then we can just write this for uh, it as 41.67 that is multiplied by 10 raised to minus 1 and combined with this 10 raised to minus 2 becomes 10 raised to minus 3 meter which can be written as 41.67 millimeter okay so this has to be the value of d that is the slit width in the second case and similarly in the third case we can just get the value of slit width here in this case also where it is 0 0.5 nanometer that is of x rays so 0 0.5 nanometer matlab kitna ho gaya wo lambda ka value humko mil gaya 0 0.5 nanometer and nano matlab 10 to the minus 9 so we can just say 0 0.5 into 10 to the minus 9 matlab 5 into 10 to the minus 10 okay meter so and then if we just put all these values then we can get this as d is equal to so 5 into 10 raised to minus 10 into 2.5 again divided by 3 into 10 raised to minus 3 again which actually happens to be 5 into 2.5 is 12.5 once again upon 3 kept as it is into 10 raised to minus minus 7 right that means d is going to be actually 4.167 into 10 raised to minus 7 meter which can be converted into millimeter so 4.167 into 10 raised to minus 4 that is going to be in millimeter so this is going to be actually the final answer which is already there in this third answer here okay so by using this uh, width of the central maxima we can just find out the width of the slit if wavelength is given remember Chalo, let us give see the next question here that is 24th one here okay a star is emitting the light at a wavelength of 5000 angstrom determine the limit of resolution of telescope having an objective of diameter 200 inch okay so see here this is the question we have a star is emitting light at a wavelength of 5000 angstrom so light ka jo wavelength hai wo diya hua hai 5000 angstrom and we know how to convert this angstrom into meter one angstrom is equal to 10 raised to minus 10 meter so if we just put it here then 5000 into 10 raised to minus 10 actually comes out to be 5 into 10 raised to minus 7 here that is in meter okay so wavelength to mil gaya determine the limit of resolution of a telescope yes here we have to use the formula for limit of resolution of telescope which is denoted by d theta here which is actually equal to the ratio of lambda to capital d and that is also equal to 1.22 lambda 1.22 into lambda upon capital d sorry 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 lambda upon 1.22 into d Correct enough. No, sorry. Yes, so limit of resolution will be 1.22 into lambda upon capital D, where capital D has to be the diameter of telescope 
objective of the telescope, which is already given here, which is about 200 inches. Okay. So if we just put all the values here, then we can just get that 1.22 into lambda, which is going to be 5 into 10 raised to minus 7 divided by the diameter. Now this diameter has to be converted into meter. We know that one inch, inch ka conversion pata suppo. Deko, capital D is given to be 200 inches. We already know that one inch is equal to 2.4 centimeter approximately. Okay. One inch is always equal to 2.54 centimeter. Okay, so if we use it here, then we can get this diameter to be actually 200 into 2.54 centimeter. But since we want to find out it in meter, so we'll just uh, use these two zeros as 100 and 100 centimeter becomes actually meter. And then we can be able to get this as 2 into 2.54, matlab ho gaya, 5.54. 0, 0.8 and that is going to be in meter correct eh? just check yes 5.08 meter this is going to be actually the diameter in meter okay so this is going to be here 5.08 okay and then we can just be able to use this but this angle is going to be actually in radian and we want it in radian only okay so let us find it out by using the calculator. Yes, so it will be 1.22 into 5. So here it is 1.22 into 5, which happens to be actually 6.1. And 6.1 divided by 5.08. So this is 5.08, which is actually going to be, sorry. Okay, it is going to be 6.1 here. So 6.1 must be divided by 5.08 which comes out to be 1.2 it's okay okay so you can just write this as 1.2 so 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 7 and that is going to be in radian as we already told that the answer will be in radian because it is going to be an angle okay so if you want to convert it into degree you'll have to multiply it by 180 by pi but not necessary the limit of resolution is going to be this much only 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 7 radian that's it then again the next question we can just solve it is the last one here that is uh, the distance between the two consecutive bright fringes in a biprism experiment using the light of wavelength 6000 angstrom is 0 0.32 millimeter then by how much will the distance change if light of wavelength 4800 angstrom is used okay so is going to the distance between two consecutive bright fringes matlab yahan pe kya diya hua hai w diya hua hai w w1 is actually given to be 0 0.32 millimeter when the wavelength of light used lambda one we can say is going going to be 6000 angstrom okay but we want to find out w2 here when the wavelength of light is changed that is lambda 2 is used here is 4800 angstrom okay so uh, we know that w is always equal to lambda into capital d upon small d and capital d and small d are just kept constant 
So W1 can be written to be simply equal to lambda 1 into capital D upon small d. And at the same time, W2 can be supposed to be equal to lambda 2 into capital D upon small d here. And if we just take the ratio of these two equations, then we can be able to get that W1 upon W2 is equal to lambda 1 upon lambda 2, which gives that W1 is going to be 0 0.32, which is in millimeter. And W2 is also going to be in millimeter. And lambda 1 is going to be 6000 angstrom. Keep it as it is, because lambda 2 is also going to be in angstrom only. So 4,800 angstrom. Okay, so if we just cancel out these two zeros here, and if we just reduce this by 12, so 12 fours are and 12 fives are. So after cross multiplication here, we can just get this 0 0.32 into four comes out to be five times of lambda over W2. And this gives four into three, 0 0.32, kitna hota hai? Four eights are, uh, four twos are eight, and three two three fours are 12. So it will be 1.28 here, which must be equal to the 5W2, okay? So 5W2. And W2 actually can be obtained to be simply equal to 12.5 upon 5. Sorry, 12.8 upon 5. So it will be actually 5 1s are 5 2s are point 28 ho gaya. So 5 5s are and 6s are. So it, finally it comes out to be actually 2.56 millimeter. Okay. So since the wavelength has been decreased here, the uh, bandwidth will also decrease only and hence it will become a uh, something is wrong uh, sorry 1.28 so this is 1.28 actually not this 12.8 so it will actually be 0 0.256 remember so it is going to be 0 0.256 in this way the answer is different Okay, so we want to find out the change, right? So by what it will change? Wavelength will change. We want to find out. So initial wavelength kitna tha? say initial wavelength lambda one was six thousand. Sorry, initial bandwidth kitna tha? W one. We can say it will be zero point three two millimeter, right? And what is the final bandwidth W two? It is going to be. 0 0.256 millimeter right so what is the change in wavelength then so here we want to find out the change in wavelength actually so so the change in wavelength can be actually found out by w1 minus w2 which is going to be 0 0.32 minus 0 0.256, which is going to be 0 0.320 minus 0 0.256, which comes out to be okay, 4 ajayga, 10 ban gaya, 11 ban wala hai, aur ye 2. So you have to 6 or simply 0. So 0 0.064, which is correct here, millimeter. Okay, so this is the 0 0.064 millimeter is going to be the change in the wavelength. Sorry, change in the bandwidth here. Okay, so that's all about the numericals in this chapter. Okay. We have solved all the numericals from this chapter. And hence we declare this chapter to be finished here at this point. And also our syllabus is also finished at this point here.
along with the numericals. Okay. So if you have some doubts, you can just put it in the chat box. Otherwise, I will just end the lecture here.